Welcome to April's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is rotate image. You are given an n times n 2D matrix representing an image. Now rotate the image by 90 degrees clockwise. But you have to rotate the image in place, which means you have to modify the input directly. So don't allocate another 2D matrix and then do the rotation uh, because that would be pretty pretty simple. All we need to do is literally create like an empty array and just go like you know one two three down four five six down, you know blah blah okay so I've seen this problem before and I just kind of know it so I'll just tell you how it works essentially we know we have to do this in place and if we do want to do it in place there's really only so many sort of transformations we can do on it we can't really do a rotate without losing some information um, so what we'll do instead is we'll transpose this. Well, if it starts off with this, what we can do is like transpose like, like that. And then all we need to do is reverse it. And that basically creates this rotation. Uh, that doesn't do it in two steps, um, but to do the transpose, what we'll do is I have a nested for loop. We'll just like switch, like see, start with this nothing happens here but here we'll say okay switch two and four and here we'll switch three seven we'll switch five uh so on and so forth um and to do that um what we'll do is get the like the matrix and we'll say for row in range of n and for column in range of actually r and the reason we have to do this is if we don't do that we actually end up not actually swapping we'll swap everything by itself again. So I'll show you what I mean. We'll say matrix R, matrix C, and we're gonna swap it with matrix C, matrix R. So let me just make this equal to, and this is become R, C. Now once we have that, let's just print our matrix. Um, this transpose essentially kind of flips it like flips it diagonally, but it also makes it upside down. So we can see here, uh, we have our matrix looks like this now. But we want it to end up looking like, like this, right? Now, what do we need to do then to do that? And all we need to do, you can see, is just reverse it. Because it's kind of like flipped in mirror direction. Now we just need to reverse this, say seven, 147 make it 741, 258 make it 852, and so on and so forth. So. All we need to do is say row in matrix. We'll just cheat here and say reverse. I'm sure you can write a function if you'd like. And that would be it. We don't need to return anything. So uh, let's see. This works. Looks like that's working. So let's submit it. And there we go. So time complexity n squared, I believe, because of this nested for loop. But I mean, I don't see how we can avoid that because we have. Uh, that many n squared cells right so okay thanks for watching my channel remember do not trust me i know nothing